Okay, Algorithm came out today. I put out a video about it and I've been watching some of the comments and the forum discussions and I'm seeing something I wanna give people a quick tip on. So uh, I thought I'd do it, but I'm gonna do it kind of quick and dirty and put it on my own, own channel. So um, this is uh, what people are saying. Why can't the randomizer, why can't you lock slots from the randomizer so that, uh, for example, we've got this basic pluck patch. If I've randomized now, it's gonna randomize every frequency because I got frequency selected. It's gonna randomize every frequency. And if I hit play now, if I do it again, that's a great example. So now look what happened. The, the way this patch is designed is that the lower slot is outputting our audio and all the other ones are doing their frequency modulation. Well, because the randomizer made this frequency all the way up to 20, it's it's not musical anymore. It's a it's really high, but it's also <clears throat> it's also actually changed the pitch of the chord. So I'm not here. Let's do another one. Yes, it's changed the quality of the frequency modulation, but it's also changed the actual pitch. So our chords are no longer in the key. If we were working in a song, they're no longer in our key. So let's put this back to basic FM pluck. Here is the thing to know. If I delete, well, let's do this over here for a second. If I set up a filter and I choose some settings on my filter and I cable my filter so that its output is going to this input and it's getting fed from this operator. And well, here, let's just do everything. We'll do a little uh, envelope settings and we'll do some of this. Whatever settings I apply to a module and whatever cabling I do to it, if I delete that, if I create it again, that's all still there. They persist. So um, how does that apply to what we're doing? Well, this is how it applies. If I want to effectively lock a module from the randomizer, I can delete it. Then do my randomization. See, they're all changing. All their frequencies are changing. And I can bring my FM operator back in and its settings are still still as they were. It's still going to the output, its level, its frequency, its envelope is all still as it was. And so that means on a patch like this, where this is the one that's actually determining the pitch of my chords, I can play around. Let's see what this one sounds like now. Okay. Delete. Randomize. Bring it back in. And so we can do the same thing if we wanted to play around with level and envelope settings at the same time, delete this. Now we're going to change our sound a lot more, but our pitch is going to stay the same. So there you go. Uh, that's just a, a quick way to know that if you want to uh, sort of effectively lock a module, you can just delete it, then randomize, and then create it again, and it will come back with the settings it had before the randomization. Okay, cool.